Hello, my name is Mirai Egan and I am Curator of Contemporary Art at The Rooms in St. John's, Newfoundland and Labrador. And this is my home office now. Here's my new, here's my new schedule. It says new life. Here is my cat. Wait, there he is. There's, there's Bruce. Named after Bruce McAuliffe, Kids in the Hall. My hero. Facade Northern Peninsula by Ned Pratt at first seems like quite an obvious portrayal of isolation. What it shows is the facade, the front of a building, um, in a barren landscape. But what it is doing is in fact showing us a side of Newfoundland that many people don't think about. When most people think about this province, you think about crashing waves and beautiful sunny days and, you know, walking through a, a delightful field. But Ned Pratt shows us that this island can also be quite hard. For me, he shows us the value of, of following your own compass. The value of going off by yourself and really looking at a place but also getting rid of any sort of previous measurement of how things should look or what they should be. Rhonda Pelly's White Horses shows a woman caught in a loop. What she's showing is a psychological space where this woman, this individual, is in a constant state of mourning. There is no getting out of it. When I think about this work in relation to the pandemic, I think about the feelings of, of sadness and uh, lack of control that many people have expressed. That they don't know when this pandemic will end. That there is no known way to get out of it. I think this, this image does speak about that. Feeling that many of us are experiencing right now of, of just not being able to find a resolution. Shivanai Ashuna's Arctic Evening shows an extremely mundane moment. It's not an idealized or romanticized uh, representation of uh, Northern individuals. It's a family in a home together. It is a simple moment. It is extremely boring and uh, that's why it's beautiful. And I think it's an experience that many of us can relate to, you know, as we're, as we're in our houses um, waiting this pandemic out. When the rooms reopens, um, the first thing I'm going to do is go look at a painting or a sculpture or just, I'm just going to go, uh, I, I need to look at something physical and tangible. There's something that can't be beat about just like, just being in front of and around um, actual artwork. Mm -hmm.